This is a very basic overview of the water treatment process. Customers always need water, but rainfall is seasonal and increasingly unpredictable. So we often use storage reservoirs to make sure there's always a supply for treatment. By passing water through mesh screens, we remove sticks, water weeds and other large foreign objects. The air takes some odours and gas from the water and allows some dissolved metal salts to separate to be filtered out. We add air by cascading the water down a tower, spraying it into the air or bubbling air through it. At this stage, there are still some fine pieces of matter suspended in the water, along with colour and bacteria. We add a precisely controlled amount of a coagulant like ferric or aluminium sulphate. This reacts with the material in water, making it all stick together to form what's known as flock. To make this flocculation happen, water and the coagulant have to be mixed together very quickly and thoroughly in a special device called a flash mixer. Next comes the clarification process. The flock forms itself into sludge and is separated in a specially designed tank called a clarifier. This sludge layer is called the sludge blanket. To control the blanket, sludge is periodically drained off, concentrated and removed for safe disposal. Particles filtered out on the RGF, the rapid gravity filter, are removed by backwashing. The water now needs filtration to get rid of any remaining particles. Water is filtered slowly through very fine sand or sand-like material. For some river waters, we use ozone gas injection as a treatment stage. This can work in conjunction with GAC, or granular activated carbon treatment, where the water is filtered through carbon granules to take out any undesirable traces of largely natural organic materials. The carbon in these filters is removed and regenerated by heat, so it can be used again. Now the water's filtered and thoroughly cleaned, it's disinfected to make sure no harmful bacteria remain. A small, controlled amount of chlorine is the most effective method and provides essential customer protection. This method is used across most of the world. The chlorine has to stay in contact with the water for a period of time for effective disinfection. Last but not least, adjustments are made to the pH levels of the water during the treatment process so that it's neither too acid or alkaline. This helps pipe work fittings and the water itself. From the treatment works, water is fed into a huge mains pipe network nearly 43,000 kilometres long, which forms a grid around the region. This grid is then accessed directly to your home, and when you turn your tap on, it's available to you. Clean, safe drinking water.